But feet, so let's get into this tea. Let's get into episode 22 of Pop the Balloon. Y'all know this is my favorite, especially while I have a little bite to eat. Got a little couple of tacos. We never watched the intro. It seems like that she got some nice looking. Hey, one and uh, welcome okay. back to my channel. It's your Never. host Arlette, and we are here with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we've got some single men lined up. Make some noise, guys! Oh, okay. You guys all sounded the same. <laughs> so we're gonna be bringing out some single women one by one. Sure. This, is, this is not how you wear these. Appreciate the reason up, Justin. This is not how you wear these 12s, okay? Sound of the same. <laughs> so we're going to be bringing out some single women one by one. When she comes around this corner, if she's your type, you know, outfit, hair, makeup, everything looks good and you're feeling it, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything you're not a fan of, whatever it may be, your preference, if you're not liking it, go ahead Bo -bo. and pop that balloon. And I'll go over to a few of you and see why you ended up popping. Look at them fake ass taxis. Look how tight he got the taxis. God damn. Can't even breathe down there. Liking it, go ahead and pop that balloon. And I'll go over to a few of you and see why you ended up popping. Are we ready? Okay. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. Hello. That whole Welcome line up. Have you hold that? What's your name? Sandra. Sandra, how old are you? 39. Okay. I had to think about that. Sorry. <laughs> she just looked at the lineup like it was bad. Sandra. Sandra. She Sandra, how old are you? That's what we got. Welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Sandra. Like this what this what she came with? This is this as good as you could get today? Okay. Sandra, how old are you? 39. I okay. had to think about that. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. Actually, I'm 38. I'll be 39 in November. I'm so sorry, guys. It's okay. Friend, you don't know your age? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And now, Sandra, what do you do? I am a phlebotomist. Um, I recently... Um, got into a lead position, but I've been doing phlebotomy for 11 years. Wow. Um, phlebotomy. And I don't mean to say, um, but I've been doing phlebotomy for 11 years, but I also travel as an independent contractor as well. Phlebotomist. Draw blood. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some things I could do for fun? For fun, I like to do, mm, you can hear it in my voice. I'm so sorry. So for fun, I like to do anything. She too nervous and insecure for me. Jesus Christ. That takes me out of my comfort zone. Okay. Why you got on all black with brown shoes on, man? Niggas be telling us, like, you a girl, so you cheating. You know how to dress. You're a man. You were born with this stuff. I had to start going to buy this shit. You was born with this stuff. And you decided to put on all black with brown, man... So recently I tried kayaking on my, my own. Mm -hmm. So that was different for me. So like anything that take me out of my comfort zone. Okay, very yeah. cool. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Uh, some things that I do look for in a man is um, a man that's gonna prioritize me in the relationship, a man that's gonna allow me to rest in my femininity, a man that doesn't, um, uh -huh. oh no, no. Excuse me. Oh, I'm speaking of everything that I do want. So, yeah, a man that prior. I'm on the gas, and bitch, I'm moving fast. It ain't no appreciate the reason up here, man. I'm really on the ass. I stay on. I just want y'all to know I probably would have popped my balloon by now. Prioritize me in the relationship. A man that allows me to rest in my femininity a guy that's you just going that. to shower me with gifts and love <laughs> Pop and it. just everything <laughs> great okay yeah. now what are some deal breakers hey. some deal breakers are i would Appreciate have to say over. a guy that does not prioritize me um a guy that has a wandering eye mm. uh uh 
And what else? Uh, My daddy always told me, you can't take the eyes out of the man's head. A wandering eye. Girl, what? Yeah, she pretty, but she come with a lot of shit. <laughs> Damn, I can't. Like, she the type to be like, what you looking at? What you looking at? Girl, please. Get out, my, get out my face. We should be able to say, she is beautiful together. Or she is fine. Girl, we seen, uh, what's that nigga name? OBJ, I think. In the mall today. He modeling for something. I said, look at this fine ass nigga on the wall. I'm so like, this nigga is fine. Like, come on, it ain't that deep. It's not that deep. I mean, that's good enough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we did get a couple of pops. Let's Yo, go we... on over there, see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right, let's start right here with your name and age. Uh, Hubert, and I'm 37. I'm glad you popped anyway, Hubert. Can you imagine? Hubert, you. Herbert, hey, Herbert. Come get me, big daddy. Big daddy, Herbert. And Hubert, what do you do? I'm a software. In, I'm in software sales. Okay. Yep. Very cool. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, well, one, I have a child. My son is my first priority. Hmm. Uh, so when someone says they want me to prioritize them, that's a red flag for me. But also, uh, gifts isn't my love language to give. Like hmm. I don't, I don't believe in showering people with gifts. I feel like that's earned. Hmm. Um, and if you're my partner, and I've, and I feel, you know. Motivated to do so, I will do so. But, like, if that's what you coming in, like, I want to be showered with gifts, wrong guy. Okay. Yep. Got it. Now, um, that's simple is he someone that's your type? Uh, he could be. He could be. But I truly believe if I was your woman, you would want to shower with me with gifts. Possibly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go to our next sure. pop balloon. All right, if we can start with your name and age. I'm Johnny, I'm 38. And Johnny, what do you do? I am a traffic control man. I'm an artist, I'm a photographer. I do a whole lot of stuff. Okay, cool. <laughs> and so why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, like, I know my priorities. I mean, my priorities is my kids. I'm saying. He just convinced that nigga to pop his balloon over there. Your father, so I gotta, I mean, you feel me? Okay. You feel me? Nigga, what? Did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, like, I know my priorities. I mean, my priorities is my kids. I'm a single father, so I gotta, I mean, you feel me? Okay. You feel me? <laughs> Sir, why you over there sounding like my nephew? Why why is he sounding like my nephew? You feel me? Yeah, you feel me? You go No, nigga. What well, that's not Nev, go get me something out of the refrigerator. Head ass. What are you doing? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> yeah, put the kids first. Yes. All righty. But have you ever heard the saying if you take care of yourself first then you could take care of everyone else that so part, you, you wouldn't prioritize your, yourself first then your I do. woman then your then woman your kids is gonna be your priority period bingo right well, so it's not it shouldn't be a competition between your children and you feisty no I'm Very. not fighting like I'm it. just saying I like it continue <laughs> no I was done finish <laughs> alright so now is he someone that's your type no okay and why not I just no, I I I can't really say. Just I, no, friend. Just it no. It might be the tattoo on the face. Okay. That's it's giving good. me like street it's vibes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it. I mean, everybody me, like, got a pass vibe. though. Like, but right, I'm right. I'm very positive. I'm a optimistic person. Okay. But I understand. Sure. Cool. Thank you. Let's head on okay. back. And we did get a pop back here. If we can start off with your name and age. Uh, my name is La Forty. Okay. And what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur, investor. You know, 
Uh, yeah, pretty much. All right. And <laughs> so why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just because she said started off with like shower you with gifts and things, and like he said, that's that's earned. I'm not a selfish person. I do give people gifts, but you couldn't shouldn't come expecting it at first, you know. I agree. And I also have two children. That's going to be like the number one priority until you know they're of age. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so now is he someone that's your type? Um, he's physically fit. But again, the tattoos, I mean, I got a tattoo, but I only have one. Girl, yes or no? I'm not really attracted to guys with a lot of tattoos. Okay. All right, cool. And then we did get a few more pops. Let's start here. She's not attracted to a lot of things. My name is Micah, mm -hmm. and I'm th uh, 42. 42. And Micah, what do you do? Uh, I'm a networking engineer right. in the cybersecurity field. Nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Yeah, I ended up popping because just uh, the energy, I don't think I was kind of gravitating to it. Okay. So I just decided to pop. Okay. Yeah. I see. I cool. See. So is Micah someone that you would go for? No. Okay, why not? Uh, I guess this height. Okay. Just a little. But I've dated short guys before, but I, I just don't feel attraction. Okay. Yeah. He not that damn short. Sure. But right. thank you. Yeah. Let's go on over here. Let's start with your name and age. My name Brian, 38. Okay. And Brian, what do you do? I do. I'm an IT. I do IT. Um, I'm also a personal trainer. Very cool. Yeah. And why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, she seemed a little managed to me. You know what I'm saying? And I just I get that little managed vibe from her. Manish. Um, then I got tattoos too. So that's what enough. does manish mean? Thing, but I mean, I just get that little manish vibe. I mean, I'm cool, you know. I'm, you know, I, I like that. You know, she's she pretty, you know, but it's a little manish. Manish, right? Do you know manish. what he means by that? Can you elaborate? I can elaborate. Basically, she, basically, she likes to take control. I can tell she like to take control, and ah. I'm the guy that like to take control, of, you know, in ah. my relationship. Got it. You know, I lead, so for sure, you know, and that's just what it is. Okay, okay. Now, is he someone that's your type? Uh, no. <laughs> you had to think about that for a bit. What makes him not your type? Uh, the fact that what he said. Okay. Uh, um, what? Because I, I don't think I like to take control. I like for my man to be in control. Okay. Okay. All right. Ooh. Dig it another pop down okay. here. Let's start with your name and age. Name's Chad. I'm 38. And Chad, what do you do? I own a mobile pet care business. Oh. Okay. All right. And why did you end up popping your balloon? The first thing I heard was being showered with gifts. The second thing was when you said, oh boy, down the way, it was too short and we're eye to eye. I figured <laughs> I'm in the same boat as him, so yeah. Okay, all righty. So now is he someone that's your type? Like, <laughs> just, hey, he's being hopeful. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> um, no. Mm -mm. Okay, and why not? Why not for him? Just no attraction. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, all right. Well, let's go over to our last unpopped balloon. Let's start with your name and age. I'm Danny, 38. And Danny, what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. Okay, very cool. So you do have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I mean, she's very beautiful. I'm just trying to figure out a little more about her. You know, I'm not scared of none of them standards and nothing like that. But, I mean... It's just really on her, to be honest with you. Like, I'm just trying to figure out what she really about because, you know, everybody want to be shy with gifts. Everybody want, you know, to show, be shown that they are cared for. That's why I took that ass. But what are you going to do in return, you know, or to earn that? Not quid pro quo. What am I going to do in return? Mm, I don't know if I like that. Somebody get this bitch before I do. Like, what? Get her the fuck out of here. The host killed me. Look at her face. She like, ah, bitch, damn, you can't even say you gonna give a nigga that. You can't get a nigga a little taco bell, little, little burrito, little Cheeto, no nothing. I don't 
<laughs> Couldn't even say quick pro quo. However you say it, I call it squid pro row. I seen that on, I seen that on uh, a movie. But it's how she kind of stuttered and said it. Quick pro like, and then you trying to bitch. Somebody get her up out of here. You ain't gotta like it. I'm just saying, I don't like showering folk with gifts without. You don't like, like to the, shower you lady with gifts? Look, it, it's, it's about my little language is like but reassurance. But everybody is zeroing in on me saying showering gifts. That's the first I thing you said. I also mentioned sweetheart. resting in my femininity as well. Well, let me tell you something. So the reason high, why they the priority. reason why they said that is because you didn't provide something like like what you do for a man for because that's easy to say any woman can come out here and say yo give me some gifts and i can bust out the bank card and be like wow mm, you know what literally. i'm saying but like what makes you like deserving to receive that other than you just being fine well if and when you become my man you would know and i would be your woman and that's in every sense so like what <laughs> like what the hell does that mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, like what does being mean, my woman mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? What does being your woman need? That means giving you support, giving you, you know, nurturing you when you need, you know, when you need to, um, just loving you with a pure heart. How do you? I wish one of her ex boyfriends come out. Matter of fact, because this is gonna go viral. I hope one of her ex boyfriends come out. <clears throat> They're going to be like, this bitch lazy than a motherfucker. That's why somebody watching it right now, like, that's why I broke up. Oh, no, I... Man, hell no. 333 three, three in the jet. Yeah. I'm 38. Okay, we're the same age. All right, where you stay? I live in Wisconsin. Wisconsin? But I'm from Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Yeah. How right. about you? I'm from Georgia. Georgia, okay. You know, okay. Atlanta. Okay. He act like he from Atlanta. Truthfully, he want that ass. That's what he want. He want to um, chance it to get some of that hoo-ha. But it's giving, she ain't giving it up till she get a little, a little Chipotle, a little Cava, a little Roof Chris. She give me, she grow. If a nigga can't take you to Roof Chris, I don't want him then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he gonna fuck around and get a roof, Chris, and she gonna be a motherfucking headache. And then after that, she gonna want the cheesecake factory, just all the cheap shit, Olive Garden shit. She just gives me that. Like, not a nice steakhouse. She just gives me, I wanna feel wine and dine. I wanna feel like, um, you know, I wanna be showered with something and she ain't giving nothing. I wouldn't give a, I wouldn't get that bitch Taco Bell. I'm telling you right <laughs> now. Are you thinking of a question or what are you doing? You just staring? I'm going to ask you something. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Like, so throughout the relationships, you're 38, you don't been in multiple relationships, right? So what's something that you learned in your past relationships that you can put into your future relationship to make it last longer? Something I've learned from my past relationships? Yeah. Uh, you know, I as you have, as a person, you know as, what I'm saying? To help you grow as a person. She's going to blame say, the okay, nigga. I'm going to take this say, into my next relationship, and it's going to last longer. I would have to say it would have to be patience. I've had to work, you know, on my patience over the years, um, and I've learned to take my time. Okay. Pop it, good? brother. She don't want you anyway. She fine. She just seemed like a lot, though. Dang. Are you seem? First of all, she don't want you. You're not her height. So you are her height. Excuse me. She needs you to be taller. Hello. Second of all, she clearly see you got a bag. She going to want the bag. However, she going to already give you too many problems. Nigga, she live in Wisconsin. You live in Georgia. Somebody tell me where's Wisconsin. Alexa, where's Wisconsin? I hope y'all Alexa went off. Because I don't know where the hell that's at. Call me stupid. I don't give a damn. What I'm trying to tell y'all is I have zero intentions on going to Wisconsin. Can you imagine a bitch being like, come to Wisconsin to come see me? Like, no. <laughs> what are we going to do out there? What are we going to do out there? I don't want to go like, to Wisconsin. What? <laughs> <I'm alive. laughs> what is it just seemed like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Well, can I ask him a question? Yeah, ask me something. All right. So on the scale of one to ten, 
and you can't use seven. Um, how <laughs> important? How important is it to you that your next relationship ends in marriage? Hmm. Nigga, you might well take that hole down to a two and pop that balloon, my boy. Let me be honest with you. I don't want to even get into a relationship unless it can, unless I see it. I'm all right. Well, you're here for love, so. Well, my be honest with you, my grandmother just passed, right? Rest in peace, grandma. So, so, so. I appreciate it. But I seen my granddaddy stay by her side or she was by his side till she could no longer be there. So if I can't envision you being old next to me, I'm not even really going to give you no energy. To be honest with you, I can give you all the energy of the world or I could just forget you exist. Mm. Oh, that's hard. You know what I'm hard. saying? So. Pop it! We, we got to make a choice. Are you popping or are we walking up there and making a match? What you want to do? Let's go. Oh, <laughs> come on. So, were you so all right? Right? Come, come on. on. If you hesitant, no, I'm not hesitant. She's I'm not. To figure out what's it like because you're very hesitant. Not... Let's walk up here. Okay. Come on, come on, come oh. on, come on. We gotta walk back, girl. She's trying <laughs> to rush to. the show. She's sick of it. <laughs> I'll stand. Stand over here. Okay. All right. This just seemed like an investment. It, it is. is an investment. Well, I'm saying it's gonna be a mutual fund. <laughs> yeah, that's so what your, a relationship your, is. Your, your, hmm. You'll come to me, and I gotta come to you. You with long distance and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm open to long distance. No. I'm clingy. Are you? Yeah, I'm talking about I wrap around you like a spider web. <laughs> <laughs> he said he clingy. I'm open to long distance. I'm clingy. Are you? Yeah, I'm talking about I wrap around you like a spider web. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm done. I cannot <laughs> take him serious. <laughs> He's serious, though. Any final questions? Are you going to pop or are you are you going to stay with her? He pop, pop that shit. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! All right. You can head on back. <laughs> Did all everything. that right. shit for nothing. <laughs> all right. Well, that is all the balloons popped, Just find her Instagram. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's Absolutely. go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Because she give me... She gives me... I'm not going to suck it. Like, bro. <laughs> she gives me... Oh, my God. You think you want your lady to give you head? <laughs> you you want me to like suck you in a car? <laughs> oh my god, you want me to like Oh no. No, 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 no. She is not gonna be fun. Hell no. I'm glad he he canceled this. I'll take this mic. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm not gonna suck it. Did you she not get y'all that? Oh my god. No. Missionary that. That was the next thing I was going to say, Fred. Thank you for bringing it up, Christy. I don't like getting hit from the back. I don't like getting hit from the side. I really want you to look me in my eyes while you do it to me. And I don't, I can't have my legs back too far because you. I don't work out. I don't work out. So I can't have my legs back too far. So I just want it missionary. I want you to grab the back of my neck when we doing it and whisper sweet nothings into my ear. Ah, <laughs> uh, she gives me that. <laughs> Yo, that's all I get. That's all I see. Oh my God! No, let her go. <laughs> she needs. All right, let's go hands ahead and bring and out our next foot. single lady. Can't go out, just nothing. Hello, welcome oh, in. I have that. What's your name? My name is Crystal. Crystal, how old are you? I'm 39. And what do you do? I'm a senior level uh, medical coordinator. Very nice. What? Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to cook. Um, I love um, learning new recipes. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. She look boring as hell. I can't do it. Everybody popped a balloon already. All right. Welcome in. Yes. 
What's your name? My name is Johiko Rodriguez. Johiko. Johiko. Okay, and how old are you? I am 39 years old. I, I, and what do you do? I. I am a dedicated and passionate social worker, and I also have several businesses. I also she got home um, bag. own an event planning and hosting yeah. business, and she got I also bag. do an intimate fitness courses. Okay. Intimate fitness? <laughs> you are busy. Yes. <laughs> now, what are some things I could do for fun? Um, well, I try to travel at least once or twice a month, if not every other month. I just came from Aruba last weekend. She ain't that I'm busy. She gone. Uh, Who knows where you I'm going to go back. Okay. Um, I'm a social I, I'm a social butterfly so I like to be in social settings so wow. Wow. anything that involves karaoke happy hour wow. day parties things of that nature she ain't we that work busy. hard so you know we gotta play, play hard, hard. hell uh-huh. yeah <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man um, first it's compatibility mm-hmm. okay. Um, okay exterior definitely is important okay. I love a guy that looks good okay. but the interior matters more like your character <laughs> and okay. you know like who you are as a person yeah. okay um um, I love someone that's fun and energetic and social like me. Okay. Um, She's a ball of fun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers, I don't do addiction. So if you're addicted to porn, uh. OnlyFans, gambling, uh. I do none of that. Um, uh. Lying. Um, someone who's judgmental. Mm. Um, All them niggas beat they meat. They beat it before they even game now. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we did get a pop. Let's go on over there, see why they ended up popping. All right, if we can have your name and age. I'm Brian, 38, from D.C. How you doing? I'm good, and yourself? Good, good. Um, All right, Brian, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, physically, she's not my type. Um, Mm. That's pretty much it. Um, Physically, not my type. Okay. That's okay. Now, is uh, Brian someone that's your type? Um, I would say no. And why not? Um, I'm more into someone that just dresses a little bit more. I mean, I'm, I want someone that dresses diverse. Um, but just someone that, for this occasion, I think you should come with your best impression. No problem, friend. I got you. She don't want nobody with them tight-ass 12s on, okay? See, one thing about 12. See, he kind of doing it all right in the red ones, but they just dirty as the fuck. So these, she, he, what he did was... He took the damn top of them shoestring, all right, bent down and pulled all the way up till he stood up, okay? That's how tall them shoestrings came for him to then tie them shoes. And I just, I got the audacity to put it on with them goddamn pants with that little cuff down at the bottom. I cannot stand them pants. And I can't stand the way he stand in the nerve to come out here talking about he ain't attracted to her. That's what she wanted to say. So, um, yeah, that's it. But you're you're a very good looking guy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Nice height. Yeah, I like the size of the jeans. You look good. Appreciate you. No problem. Right. Let's go to our next pop balloon here. If we can have your name and age. I'm Johnny. I'm 58. Oh, and Johnny, why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm just into a more like taller girl. Okay. Why not? But you're gorgeous. Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Now is Johnny your type? Hell no. Um, oh, I would Johnny. say no. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Um, just the wardrobe. Yeah. Just looking at the exterior. I haven't heard anything from you yet, so yeah. you know I can't say too much. But just from looking on the outside, I just feel again, you know, being that this is a dating show, mm-hmm. um, you know, you got to come with your best. Indeed, I yeah. understand. Okay. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. And we did get one pop back here. Your name and age and why you ended Johnny up Johnny, a grown ass man. Yeah, my name is Micah. I'm 42. And uh, the reason. Mike. How you doing? I'm good. And yourself? Doing good. Friend, I ain't tired. Okay. I ain't tired. Y'all done had me a taco uh, or two. Uh, I had a great day yesterday and I'm in a great mood. Okay. So y'all gonna get that. Let me, let me ask y'all a question. Why are men's arms so long? I don't, I never understood that. Clearly they're men, right? So they're just naturally bigger, longer and stuff like that. But damn, why, why can he scratch his knee if he would like to? Like, I, I just, I don't understand. I hate it. Essential. Okay. But friend, that nigga right now could be like, oh, damn, my knee itching, not even been around this long. Uh, I mean, the other guy arms longer than his. Do you see how he almost touched his kneecap? I just, bruh. Hey, thanks. (laughs) 
So the reason I popped it was, was just me out. the the attraction wasn't there for me. Okay. Physical attraction wasn't there. Okay. Was there something specific? Uh, really not specific. Just not the physical attraction wasn't there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Got okay. it. Got it. Now is Micah someone that's your type? Yeah, actually, Mike would be someone that's my type. Um, what? Very nice looking. I love someone that's super well groomed. The beard is looking on point. Hair is on point. Don't pop it, Dre. Yeah, the aesthetics. I'm here for it. I appreciate that. Thank no you. No problem. Thank you. And then Welcome. we did get one down here. Let's head on over here. All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Danny. Hey, 38. Danny. How What's are you? Up? What's your name again? Why Danny think biting his lip is a sexy thing to do? Balloon. What is, what is that? <laughs> you know, he give me. Baby, just let me put the head in. Just please, please. I know, I know you're on your cycle. And to be honest, I'm a phlebotomist. You get what I'm saying? But please, baby, please. <laughs> just let me put the head in. I'm on the gas, and bitch, I'm moving fast. Appreciate the reason, Brent. No! I'm Danny. Hey, 38. Danny. How What's are you? Up? What's your name again? Chohiko. Chohiko. Yes. Well, I'm big on, you know, having a type, you know, and then she described her type pretty much to the T, and I didn't see myself in it. You know what I'm saying? So you got to do a dash about me. Wow. And if you ain't willing to do that because I ain't your type, then it's all good. Well, who told you you weren't my type? You did with your discretion. Okay. Oh my God! With your discretion, you did your discretion. Y'all don't fret. It ain't nothing but a little poppy. I'm sober, by the way. I haven't drank anything. Gone. You did while your discretion. <laughs> so good. All right. So now is he your type? Yeah, he is somebody that would be my type. Okay. Yeah, very well dressed. You came with the collared shirt on. I love me some Chelsea boots. You came dressed for the occasion. You look good. Got a clean cut. I'm not really with the shades at night, you know, but I can see through them. So as long as I can see your eyes and you don't have hater blockers on, it's all good. So I actually would. Yeah, he's my type. Okay. Let's head on back. You should take that balloon back, then. What's up? Uh oh. Oh! I'm saying. <laughs> Don't listen to that, man. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> All right. So, we do have three balloons left unpopped. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the remaining guys a question just to help you narrow it down, see who's more of your match. Okay. So, I guess I would first ask you guys um, where are you from and what do you do for a living? Okay. Let's start here with your name and age and the answer to your question. Uh, my name is La 40. Um, What's I'm your name? I'm sorry. Excuse me? Your name? La. La? Okay. Yeah. La La. Nice to meet you. Um, pretty much I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an investor. Uh, I'm into fitness at uh, a <coughs> uh, university, Body State University, and also a restaurant, Supreme Empanada, in New York City. Okay. Thank you. Now, this nigga arms is bigger than my whole left side of my body. Um, he gives a cinch, though. What y'all think? You're welcome. Yeah, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and the answer to her question. Uh, Hubert. Hubert. My age is 37. Uh, I'm in software sales and I have a podcast. Okay, nice to meet you, Hubert. Likewise. Okay. Lala sound like a uh, New York name for a dude. One more down over here. He's shape weird. All right, your name and age and the answer to your question. My name's Chad. I'm 38. And I own a mobile pet care business. He gives, oh, he's cute. a nerd. Nice Hubert to meet you, does. Chad. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, let's head on back. So it is time to pop a balloon. So mm. I'm going to go ahead and hand you a balloon. Lala gives yeah. right hook. <laughs> there you go. Pop a balloon. Yes. Yeah, so out of these three guys, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of their balloons. Girl, can I ask a question first? Get no, Chad next the fuck out the way. <laughs> At least two people only. Oh my God. Okay. Mm, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Give me one second, please. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, okay. Uh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Wow. That's trouble. Oh, God. 
Pop it! I knew it was coming. Okay. Look. Well, he popped his. He popped. Let's come Let's on go. over here. <laughs> so why did we end up popping, Hubert? Um, the hesitation. Like, I need my woman to be like, know what she want and make the decision. Also, um, there are a few things aesthetically that I don't like. Okay. Um, I'm not really big on like weave and if I can see a braid. Uh, and then like, the like the, I can see the bump in the back. Um, the braids. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the tooth. Her tooth? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. The tooth? All right. Well, is Hubert someone that's your type? I know you had a little hesitation yeah, when... Yeah, no. I mean, he is someone that would be my type. I mean, I, just, again, based on the exterior, because I haven't heard anything from him yet. Yeah. Um, the dress code, yes. Uh, the demeanor on the facials, it's just giving I don't want to be here. Um, but aside from that, um, yeah, he's somebody that I would probably... Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. The I'll go two... ahead and have you ask the two guys a question that are left. Um... I want to Speaking of too. aesthetics, how are you guys when it comes to like your women and um, consistency? I know some guys don't like a woman that changes a lot. You know, they want her to stay in shape. If she gains the weight, tooth. they lose interest. Because personally, I'm someone that I, when it comes to my hair, I change it <laughs> a lot. I have no braids, to be honest. I actually have a shortcut under here, but my hair is down my back. Um, but I've done different type of things with my hair. I am always changing. So how comfortable are you? with the consistency of like how your women changes her hair or you know her gaining weight losing weight um as far as your hair that's your hair that's, hair don't make you so it don't matter to me okay um gaining weight and stuff i'm gonna try to look good for you so you gotta always look good for me you know so i wouldn't want you to gain like 40 30 pounds i'm gonna say baby let's go get in the gym let's go get it together you know what i'm saying but if you reluctant then i might be out of there I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Let's go down over there. Like, why are you even giving Chad a chance? I'm gonna go ahead and answer her question. Uh, that would be no problem for me. No. I think that. Uh, Pop it. I just drew, drew a blank right now. Uh, <laughs> Damn. That, that would be no problem for me. I'd actually would uh, appreciate you coming with different styles and looking. Pop it. Thanks for listening. That actually would be no problem with me. I, uh, <clears throat> no, you care. I hate a motherfucker that care and act like they don't. And then three months down the line, here she go, 17 pounds heavier. And he like, well, damn, bitch. <laughs> Who knew you could get bigger thighs? I said that I gained weight. In a different way, as uh, far as the weight fluctuation, it didn't look like you would have too much of that going on. So. Thank you. <laughs> and the activities I love to do, uh, that would probably prevent you from even you know, gaining weight. I, I, I don't know why you'd ask that. You look great. but um, Well, I'm asking because, you know, I, ha I mean, I don't, I don't mind because he was so wrong with the braids. I don't, I, that, you want to take it off? Don't the, do that. Don't yeah. you, I mean, oh I mean, you know, I mean, why can't? Don't get me wrong. It is a very nice haircut. No care. <laughs> it's a very nice haircut. <clears throat> I need to see the front of her face with it. Let's let's see if they pop it. And I so you still look good. She does. Okay, okay. I got to see her face. She does look good. But I wasn't ready either. Still look good. So should I keep it off or okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, earring just fell. lost the earring. Um, well, I'm but yeah, that. so that's yeah, why I asked because I'm always changing my hair. I go from short. I just was bald a few months ago. That haircut look good. That haircut look good. Go. I have super long hair. I do all types of things, and typically I do natural. But you know, I came on the show today, so I was like, all right, let yeah. me try to yeah. do a little something. But this is this is me. So I just want to make sure you're okay with me and who I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. 
Let's head on back. I, Let's head I had on to back. do it. No, you look good. You look yeah, good. I didn't do. You <laughs> talking about I had braids? I'm like braids. What braids? <laughs> right. <laughs> he did though, and thought he ate. I don't like uh, seeing the back and when I can see the braid. The braid. She like. <laughs> <laughs> I need my hair done. <laughs> nigga, what braid? Nigga, what fuck is you talking about? <laughs> okay, so our two remaining guys, any questions for our beautiful lady here? Well, who's saying? I'm sorry. Here we go. You got a question over here? Let's go over here. Yeah. You have kids? I do. I was married for 11 years, so I had three wonderful children. Um, I have a cordial relationship with my ex husband. We do 50 50, so. Whoever my partner is, he honestly doesn't. The, a week, my kids are gone. <laughs> a week, they come back with me. So oh, that's uh, a they have a very active father. So that wouldn't be a concern if that is a concern, because that tends to be a concern at times. You want more kids? <laughs> I'm open to more kids, yeah. Yeah, I snap back. Ah! Okay. I mean, end up hopping. I, I, I don't want no more kids. I don't. I, I'm open to it. Open to I'm it. I'm open to it. I'm but not. to be honest, I do have three. But that would be a decision that we would have to make. You don't want no more, neither do I. I didn't say I want. It's mm. not a. It's not a need for me. Mm. I already have three. But for example, I'm open to it if the, my partner wants it. Oh. Okay. I'm not open though. <laughs> and that's fine. And that's what and I'm telling you. I got you. two kids. Yeah, that's you know cool. That's cool with Just me. Fuck them kids after that. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Real shit. I don't know about F them kids. <laughs> But I'm totally open. If I don't need to have any more. Understandable. But I'm open to it if my partner is. But I, I respect it. Okay. okay. Any questions down over here? Let's head on over Y'all, here. Y'all, he any wasn't questions? feeling the haircut. Where do you live? I live in Florida. Fort Lauderdale, to be exact. Where do you live? Vegas. Oh, okay, so you wouldn't be willing to do long distance temporarily? <laughs> Too far. Well. I mean, because. I- None of them wanted her after the haircut. Listen. I'm I'll- ground. The dating pool? There's fucking okay. Yeah. <laughs> Other questions between the two of you? Oh. What's the question? All right. No so question. then, is it a yes for you? For her? It's a yes. Right. Is it a yes for you for him? It's a yes. We got a match. <laughs> I think he would be a better match for her than anybody else. Oh, give it up for one, them, one, one in the chat. <laughs> Yes. How old are you? I'm 37. And what do you do? I'm a real estate agent and broker in the Arizona area and D.C. as well. Oh, agent oh, cool. and broker. Yeah. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? She got um, a bag. I'm really chill. I like speakeasies. I like staying at home and cuddling sometimes. <laughs> I like um, adventuring. I try anything at least once. So, nice. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, I'm looking for someone who is also adventurous, someone who's looking for a serious relationship with the goal of marriage. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm looking for someone who is, I guess, multidimensional. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, I know this is cliche, but I I would say cigarette smoking. Um, uh, I won't say smoking in general, but it depends. Um, I don't mind if a man has kids, but I would like to know how old, if under two for me might be a... discussion to be had okay (laughs) um outside of that i would say the other thing is playing (laughs) video games on a daily basis and it's not for your hobby i mean it's not for your profession Mm. a hobby is a yeah little problem okay (laughs) y'all what's wrong with men playing a video game because like if if we're gonna be realistic we're not talking in the house all day long bro Every day you're not having a long-winded conversations, going on a date. <laughs> now, like, let's just be realistic, okay? Why wouldn't you want the nigga to have something to do? It takes over my brother. Now, now, hold on. Okay, so let me rephrase. It is some men out here that strictly game strictly go to work, don't have time for you, and that the 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 shit not his job. I do get that. I do get that. I do. What I'm speaking on though is a man that occasionally games. <clears throat> or even if he get on the game every day, play for an hour, get off. I just think it's not realistic at some point in our life to 
think everything is going to be like peaches and cream and like, I'm going to be in your face all day. I love you, baby. Mm. Like, that's so fake. That's so fake. Y'all? <laughs> like, mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we haven't got any pop balloons. Thank you. So I am going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pick. Uh-oh. Okay. Let me have you hold that. Be busy because I'm going to be busy. I am Hello. I play the game. When you get home, I get off. I'm going to have you pop. Oh, yeah, we game together. Up two balloons based off of two. what you're seeing. Whoever doesn't really fall into your type, whatever it is, go ahead and pop two balloons. And no questions? No questions this round. All right. I know it's tough. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. No, I don't. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, and then one more. Look at him aggravated. Oh my God! It's okay. Let's. First of all, I hate your name, Hubert. Girl, police. That's number one. Then number two, all them faces he make. He act. He sassy. This one's sassy. Start right over here. Okay. Uh, your name and age. Hubert, 37. Okay. And Hubert, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, I was trying to give her a little bit of time to warm me up. Okay. She didn't say anything too bad. Um, I did notice some things that I don't like, but, mm -hmm. you know, I was just trying to give her some grace. Okay. Yeah. But is she someone that's your type, you, like you would usually go for? Um, she cool. <laughs> she cool. He's so shady. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so why did we end up popping his balloon? Well, because it's a tough choice up here. Um, but I would, I, based off of the initial vibe in the eye contact, okay. I was just getting from other areas, I've had to make a decision. Okay. Sounds good. And then we did pop one more. Let's head on over here. Your name and age. My name is Micah. I'm 42. And Micah, why did you have your balloon unpopped? <laughs> I like the things she was saying, it was kind of interesting, the things you were saying. Uh, and you seem, you got like good energy. You seem like you have good energy. Thank you. So, yeah. I'm so nervous. Now, I think Mike could blow your back out, okay? Mike gives me blow your back out, okay? Them long ass arms. Do they, what they say about men with long arms? Is that a thing, y'all? <laughs> you know what they say about men with long arms? Like, is, is that a thing? Um, But he gives me, he'll blow your back out for sure. He gives me hot wax, denim made, and shit. Uh, he give you stalker. Hmm. He says stuff twice blows out back, but slow on conversation. Hmm. He gives ex obsessive. Oh, y'all think he... Is on the episode of you. Got it. <laughs> All right. Now, why did we end up popping his? Um. Oh my God. Um. Initial attraction. Okay. I would just say it, it. It's nothing that I could pinpoint. I just didn't feel the, the initial like attraction there. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. You. <laughs> yeah, <that's> yeah. <laughs> All right. So now you can go ahead and ask a hmm. question Damn. all right <laughs> so i kind of just want to know like a uh, little bit about what some of you guys like to do for fun okay cool your name and age and what do you like to do for fun uh my name is la i'm 40. i like to travel i pretty much travel um i like doing comedy shows and you know, um adventurous stuff too you know i'm an adrenaline junkie you know i got motorcycles and jet skis and stuff like that okay. that's pretty much Awesome. Let's head down over here. Your Y'all remember name and his Asian. Instagram? What do you like to do for fun? My name Brian, 38 from DC. Um, what I like to do for fun um, is pretty much typically travel. Um, I like to be by the water. Um, honestly, mm -hmm. I adventurous, so I spontaneously do anything that my woman like to do. Yeah. Um, you just said everything gang said. Literally, just not in the same order. That's pretty much it. Okay. All right. Over here, your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? I'm Johnny. I'm 38. Um, babe, I don't have fun. <laughs> it's always work with me. But at the same time, I'm an adventurous person. I'm a personality. I, I love, you know what I mean? It's hard to explain, okay. but I'm. Wow! He say nah, I mean when it's not needed. At 
all. He also gives me he a get head <clears throat> from a trade. What you doing later after this? I ain't doing shit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get sucked up right quick, you down. Yeah, I'm down. Definitely give me here, get some top from a tray. Or who doing the bending? Okay. Wow. That's what I get. I'm always at work. I'm a single father, so it's like, yeah. All work, no play. Yeah. Okay. Right. Indeed. <laughs> Your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? I'm Danny. I'm 38. I'm a little bit of a brainiac. I like to play chess. Um, I got a podcast where I read from Prosperity Bible. Um, I recently retired from basketball. I'm not as good as I thought I was. <laughs> um, it's okay. We all have then, dreams. Um, like sports, uh, Stone Mountain, running up the mountain and stuff like that. I got a couple of kids, so like whatever they like to do, I'm into. I'm real supportive with that. So, you know, I like to just create fun out of whatever. Okay. You know, talk shit a little bit. <laughs> I like that. Okay. All right. Let's head All on right. back. <laughs> okay. So, based off of everything you've heard, what you've seen, whatever it is, okay. I'm going to have you pop one balloon. Okay. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. So, why did we end up popping his? Um, for me, it was just a preference on the face tattoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just not. Indeed. Yeah, that's it. It's fine. Yeah. All right. So, Johnny, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? I mean, she's gorgeous. Thank she you. looks like she has a beautiful soul and whatnot. But thank you. I understand. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's ask the remaining guys another question. Okay. So, if money were no option, where would you live, and where do you live now? Okay. Hmm. Start over here. Hmm. Actually, no, let's give him time. He's still thinking. Let's go down there. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> let's start down here. All right, answer to your question. You know, I lived a lot of places. I like I like Atlanta. Okay. Um, I like the network. Um to be honest with you. I live in Atlanta. Okay. <laughs> so uh So you wanna stay? You don't if money wasn't an option, where would you live? Uh, I would live in the Maldives. In the Maldives, or it's a place where this guy live. He just moved to, and he looked like he having a time. Can't think of the name of it. But um, the Maldives and Cabo. And or bro, like Bora Bora, all anything with water that won't create a tsunami. I will live in Dubai. Hell no. You want to go nowhere? Too many rules. <laughs> Dubai be like, did you just fucking cuss out loud? Jail for 20 years. Because I cursed out loud? Yeah, nigga. Jail for 20 years. You can't have no public affection in Dubai. You can't do too much too loud in Dubai. You can't wear certain shit in Dubai. You can't be gay in Dubai. You can't be straight in Dubai. I'm cool. All right. We be honest. You know, be honest. I probably would stay like somewhere that's by the water, but don't get all the BS that water bring, like tsunamis and all Hello? that stuff. Like okay. I like Atlanta because the weather is perfect. You know, it's, it's it's cold for like a short period of time. Thailand seemed like it's cool. I want to go anywhere where ain't no anacondas at. I mean, then everything. And no else. snakes coming up through the fucking toilet. That's is straight, and I don't like drama. I don't like weather. I don't like. <laughs> I just like to be chill, cool. Gotcha. So that's why I choose Georgia. Okay. No tornadoes okay. and stuff. <laughs> I, like I agree. I love Georgia. Probably be here forever. Where I really would love to live is somewhere in Texas. Probably like Katy. Katie looks really nice. They have really nice houses and things like that. And I'm sure it's other places in Texas with really nice houses, but very bad thunderstorms, very bad tornadoes. And I'm straight. Like, it's guaranteed to come through. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they tell y'all a hurricane about to come or whatever, a tornado, or whatever, baby, it comes. I'm straight. You get what I'm saying? Family I'm there. <laughs> okay, all right, on over here. 
All right, so you, your question was, um, where would I live? Or what was your question? Um, if money were no option, where would you live and where do you currently live? Well, I currently, I'm currently residing in the DMV area outside of D.C., Maryland okay. area. Um, but uh, if money, you basically saying if money was an option, well, honestly, I would like to live somewhere where it's nice and hot, like maybe Florida, somewhere like that, somewhere where Arizona? Arizona, cool. I actually like it out here. It's, it's pretty chill, <laughs> you know, a little hot, but it's not as humid as East Coast. Um, yeah. But... Yeah, somewhere where it's water, beach at, where I can, you know, like to be by the water, so. Okay. Yeah. I like right. how you talk. Cool. All right. I just hate those shoes, okay, buddy. Okay, you got some time. What's your answer? Um, If money wasn't an option, definitely like uh, Bali or somewhere, somewhere different. Bali, like, too. It's a whole different country or something. And Bali I'm currently too. residing in New York. New York. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, it is time to pop. Oh, yes, we're gonna pop out of these three guys. Whose balloon are we popping? One, <clears throat> just one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. We'll... Okay. Why did we pop his balloon? Oh, and then I have to. I like. <laughs> it's not an easy choice up here, but um, he seemed like he wasn't really sure gas, on his answer. No Appreciate the reserve, friend. Yeah, you looked a little confused. Um, but it's okay. I don't want to stay in Georgia, though. Like, that's just not my vibe. So that's Should really what well, you want to go there. No, I want to hear from you. This is <laughs> about us. Wherever you want, babe. This is togetherness. <laughs> All right. So, Danny, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, She got, like, a natural goddess-type vibe. Um, she Come seemed on, like goddess. she's caring and um, really dives deep into a relationship and falls head over heels and make whatever like tries to make it work really you know what i'm that. saying and so i was hearing her out and she's very attractive mm. you know so she seemed like she's easy going cool to kick it with so yeah uh, he did a lot of thank you for that appreciate it <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right so we do have two guys left right. guys any questions for our lady here you have one? Okay, we'll start here, then we'll go over there. I'm assuming you don't have any kids, right? I don't. Do you want to be a mother? I do. Hey, there you go. You're beautiful. Thank you. I would never try to waste your time. That's something everybody should experience if they want to. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to have, like, start over again. I have two kids. I don't want to start over again. I understand. Yeah, I definitely want someone who's still open to the idea, even though I may not have kids, I still want someone open to the idea. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, prior to, you know, her saying she wants more kids, you had your balloon unpopped. Why so? A lot of women gonna want kids. Like, I, he need a woman that's 40 plus with children that's grown. She's beautiful. She's um, she has in, in real estate, so she has like a money mind. It's right up my alley. I like that. Um, Excuse me. Yeah, and she has like a, a good demeanor. I do her. not like this man. Thank you. Okay. Now, is Law someone that's your type? I, I I do think if he was outside, I would say hi. I would hey. <laughs> I would entertain you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And we do have one balloon left unpopped, and he did have a question. Okay. What's your question? Um. So my question is, in the household, what is the as, as far as the roles? Okay. What is, I love that. What, what does it look like as far as the man role and the woman role? What does it look like in, in your household? All right, so I'm a little old school, and I'm glad you asked this because I was raised by my grandparents and also in a Christian upbringing. Okay. So I do value the man as the lead, okay. and I'm going to, with good reason, submit to my man. Ooh, okay. Um, Ooh, I and like I want to like make sure. With good reason, she said, don't miss that, buddy. Of course, that is someone that I pick that's right, that I can trust Hello. his leadership. But I definitely feel like that comes first. And if I do get married, my husband is also going to come before everything and everyone else. Even if I do have kids, some people take. Y'all, B said uh, she is giving, I don't know if she, he, you know what I'm saying, for giving out five gift subs. So if you need a gift sub, B's going to look out for you. That wrong, but you know what I'm saying. Biblically, I have the order. Okay. All right, that sounds like a good answer right there. Um. <laughs> All right, let me bring you up. Come on up here. Let's, <laughs> let's come on up here. All right, y'all. Any final questions? I did. I wanted to know if you have children. Yes, I have two boys. How old are they? Five and 18. Okay. Damn. I like that. Yeah. 
And what do you look for in a woman? Well, honestly, I look for a woman that's like you just described yourself, submissive. Let the man she... lead, know what they want. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Respect. I'm big on respect. Yeah. Uh, you know, a woman that you know. And that... bees, if no, don't nobody say nothing. You could just do a five gifty friend, get it all out the way. I know what she wants. And I appreciate and, um, you. That's pretty much it. You know. Okay, I like that answer. Big on respect. That's it. Okay. Okay, well then, with this being said, is it going to be a yes for you for her? I think it's going to be a yes, yes. Okay. I and have one more question. Oh, oh my God. Okay, go no, ahead. No, it's, it's, it's not, not a deal breaker. I just wanted to know what part of the DMV, because I live in the DMV too. Well, I, I'm, I grew up in Southwest D.C. Okay. So, like I said, I'm in the area. I'm like uh, outside of Maryland right now. So. Okay, I'm in Silver Spring. Okay. Oh, that's close, so. Wow. He said yes. He done met his wife, nigga, because how they live in the same place, but they in Arizona. It's a date. Now, is it going to be a yes for you for yes. him? We got a match. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I'll take this mic and you guys can go on off. Go ahead. It's one of them. Oh. <laughs> now, friend, I want you to let him know. I know he got big foots, probably got a big accenture, but what he need to do and never to do again yeah. is wear them shoes like that. <laughs> Get him together. <laughs> hey, let's give it up for that. Appreciate the motherfucking gifts up, friend. Please to Simma gifted a tier one sub to Nimo Grigio. They have given seven gift subs in the channel. Nimo Grigio. Damn. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Woohoo! Yeah, single lady. Woohoo! Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Kat. Kat, uh -uh. how old are you? I'm oh, 35. God. And what do you do? I'm an electrician. Oh, wow. And I okay. also model. <laughs> now, what are some things A you do? A modeling for fun? electrician. Um, I like to. I like to do everything. I like to <laughs> go shoot pool, um, play spades. This um, thing is a dude. <laughs> um, skating. Okay. She like the homie. <laughs> now, what's some, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, so I'm looking for someone who is <laughs> genuinely trying to get to know me. Shut up, Grizzy. And court me and make me a part of their situation and not just, you know, keep me around as a placeholder. Okay. Appreciate the gifts of uh, B. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breaker. Um, <clears throat> bad hygiene. Okay. Someone who texts me what you doing all day. Okay. <laughs> Don't no, what you like, doing me today. To the conversation. <clears throat> um, that's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no she give me something so like that too. Pop balloons. Okay. Going over there, see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right. If we can have your name and age. I'm Danny. I'm 38. Okay. And Danny, why did you end up popping your balloon? You know, she's a very beautiful woman. Came out here with presents. Um, but we just being completely honest, I got a type, I like mine's, you know, a little bit thicker, you know, I'm like, no ass, it won't last type dude. So I just <laughs> like, <laughs> just, you know, I'm just here to find my type. I'm on the gas, oh, bitch, I'm moving right. fast. All right, now it's Danny someone that's you. Appreciate the gifts up, B. Your type? Um, he's okay. Oh. I don't know him personally, but he's honest, so I like that. Okay. Thank you. And we did get a pop back here. If we can have your name and age. Yeah, my name is Micah and I'm 42. Okay. And she gives me born to y'all. Appreciate the gifts up, B. Oh my God. Look at her face. Um, I go to therapy. That part, we ain't got no more questions. I ain't got no <laughs> <laughs> How do you deal with your trauma? Therapist. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah. It's the best ever. <laughs> right? Appreciate the gifts, uh, uh, B. All right. <laughs> Any other questions between you two? No, I ain't got nothing else no. to say. Oh, okay, let me bring you up. Come on up. Come on up. <laughs> All right. 
All right, so y'all say you have no further questions, so I'm going to go ahead and ask mine. So, is it going to be a yes for you for her? Hell yeah. Oh. Appreciate your friend for that five gift ski. And is it a yes for you for him? No. Ooh. <laughs> John. Okay, so. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What's going on? Okay. What happened, y'all? No for you. Um, his teeth. He wore whole ass glasses inside, and it's like ten o'clock at night. Um, and I just couldn't hear half the things that he was saying. Mm, okay. All right. Well, that is all the balloons popped. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's. He told my dad's fine with his country ass. Somebody called out them two of us. Okay. Um, I was raised in ballroom dancing, so I love to dance. Um, no. From, from, from no. No, 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 no. Friend, you ain't got no ass. There's nothing. There's nothing. I'm straight. Uh, he ain't want kids, we know. Oh, you gonna go with Hubert, Herb. Herb, a.k.a. Shrub. <laughs> so is Danny so much? We both we just think about our you. next single lady. Hello. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Melissa Gemma. Melissa, okay. And yes. how old are you? I'm 36. <laughs> and Melissa. Do do? So I am a property manager as well as TV and film hairstylist and makeup artist. She give me, she do not want children. Nice. Okay. Yes. Now, what are some things I like to do for fun? I like to eat. <laughs> okay. Do y'all know how to cook? Anybody? Oh. <laughs> so, yes, I'm oh. a foodie. I love to eat. I love all different types of food. Mm -hmm. Don't eat pork, um, but I'm open to trying, you know, Lots pretty much things. anything. Okay. Um, I'm a creative, so anything of the arts, pretty much, you know, I'm passionate about. I love music. Nice. I love books. I love art. I love museums. Um, yeah. Okay. No. I just love to have fun. Like, as long as it's a good time, it's mm -hmm. a vibe, we're being safe. You're there I'm for good. it. Yes. All right. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Oh, okay. Um, I desire a man, um, a man of God, mm. a man of God for sure. Okay. Um, he doesn't, I'm not going to say you have to be in church every Sunday because I'm, I'm on my journey as well. Mm -hmm. However, you have to be willing to, <coughs> you know, want to cultivate that relationship with God. That's really important to me. Okay. Um, a progressive man. Uh, a man who is purpose driven. Mm -hmm. That's really important to me as well. Because if you don't know your purpose, you don't know why you're here. Right. Then you will never live up to your fullest potential. Um, definitely marriage minded. Uh -oh. A man who is intentional about what he wants. Um, provision. And not just from a financial aspect, because I know we get up here and say, oh, I want to provide. <laughs> oh, he needs to be able to provide stability. Right. But it encompasses so much more than just finances. Unless as long as hell. Like, obviously a leader. But at least you, you would want to. Uh, okay, she has a son. I have a six-year-old son. Um, great kid. Myself and his father, we co-parent very well. That's good. So he has to be a man that is willing to, you know, accept a woman with a child and mm -hmm. also kind of know how to navigate that type of relationship. Cause if you're going to be with me, we are a package deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and just, you know, be confident, okay. um, have a plan and just know how to, you know, I mean, you got two hands. I may be a little bit of a handful, <laughs> but that's in a good way. Okay. Now what are some deal breakers? Give um, me like two deal breakers. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Deal breakers. Uh, I would say someone, who lacks emotional intelligence. Mm. Okay. Um, you have to be emotionally aware. Just mm. have some tact. Um, okay. Just kind of know how to communicate. That's really big, which I know is a cliche. Everybody talks about it because it's trending, but it's really the truth. Okay. Um, mm, anger issues. That is a deal breaker for me. Got it. Uh, you can't control your anger. Okay. That's, that's good. You okay. got those two. <laughs> All right. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's okay. go on over there. 
Okay, your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Yeah, my name is Micah, and I'm 42. Hi, Micah. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Doing good. Okay, and Micah, why did you end up popping your balloon? The reason why I popped, well, first off, I just wanted to hear what she had to say. Mm -hmm. And what really uh, caught my attention is when she was talking about a man of God or someone, <clears throat> a man that's trying to seek God. Okay. Yeah. So that, that gravitated, that I gravitated to that. So, okay. uh, and then just the things she was saying, it, it was really, you know, it intrigued me, the okay. things she was saying. And, um, but yeah, so the reason I popped was because just, just the, she's, a, she's a bit too slender for my type, Okay. but she's, you are, you are very pretty. Thank you. Yeah. You're nice. He wants some, some, some thick. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you, Micah. All right. Let's head on back. So we do have four guys remaining. Let's go ahead and ask them a question. See who's more your type. <coughs> so fellas. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> how do you handle temptation in a relationship? Okay. You handle temptation Let's start with your name and age and the answer to your question. Uh, my name is La Forty. Okay. And um, how do I handle temptation? Yes. In a relate now you're in a relationship. This I'm not saying as a single man. So you're in a relationship. You made a commitment to a woman who got cra crazy eyes. You know, Her, but there's gonna be temptation. We're human. Yes, We're he's forty. To people. That's why he don't want kids no more. So how well, do you no more kids? You handle temptation when you have made a commitment to someone and you got this baddie in your face and she's everything that you like and want and lust for. All right, let's hear from him. <laughs> Um, basically, it's self-control. Like, okay. when you get to this age, you got to have self-control. If I'm in a relationship, I'm basically blind to everybody else. I'm Stevie Wonder. That's it. Okay. okay. Stevie. Okay, thank you. Stevie. Let's go over here with your name and age and how do you handle temptation? Uh, Hubert, 37. Um, I have different tactics. Pray on it. For sure, pray on it. Um, I'm a big blocker. Like, I will block you. Okay. Um, I, in my last relationship, I went and removed all of the women that I was following that would be temptation. Okay. Um, also, I just don't put myself in situations where I got to deal with that because I am go. human. So, yep. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Let's go over here. Your name and age and how do you handle temptation? I'm Johnny. I'm 38. I handle temptation. I pray a lot and I talk. If I'm saying you got to communicate. Absolutely. That's it. Okay. Okay. Last guy here, name and age, and how do you handle temptation? I'm Danny. I'm 38. To be honest with you, it was, um, I've adapted the philosophy of monogamy because it's. Sir. Wow. Shut up. <laughs> I've adapted the philosophy of monogamy. Like. Get this dude. Are you <laughs> okay. There's a lot of financial and personal growth benefits that come from that. So I really don't get tempted when I'm in a relationship because I've engulfed myself into the relationship. So other women just don't matter. Got you. All right. Thank you. Let's head on back. She knew with the first line, that was some bullshit. She knew it. All right. So based off of those responses you heard, whatever you see, all that good stuff, I am going to have you pop. So let me give you a pick. Okay. And let's so. go ahead and pop one balloon. All right. Well, uh, why would you let it go? <laughs> Hello. Okay. So why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, he like a big ass, like. 14 year old bro honestly his answer was really really good just mm -hmm. the um i'm the physical attraction okay. yeah just not like a connection or you know yeah okay and now johnny why did you have your balloon unpopped you want a real answer i'm your trying to response. take home to my mama you hear me she she love your show okay that's it so she's not your she's what respond home to my mama you hear me she she love your show Okay. That's it. She love you, she. So she's not your type? No, nah, she's too skinny. Okay. She gorgeous, though. Thank You're you. Gorgeous. Thank you. All right. 
thank you. <laughs> Let's head on back. Is he trying to convince? All right. I'm going to go ahead and have oh you God. ask the remaining three guys another question. Um, okay. So, uh, in terms of the family dynamic, who comes first? Okay. He said he's trying to take something home to his mama because she loves your shoe, is what he said. Who comes first? Um, I have kids, so my kids come first. Okay. We're married. We're married. Okay. Right. Hold on. The mic ain't even on you yet, Hubert. Sorry. Who comes first? If I'm married, my wife. So, let me rephrase that. Mm -hmm. In terms of the family dynamic, as far as hierarchy is concerned, the order of the family, in order for you to have sustainability, who comes first in your relationship? This oh, is a marriage. Got it. There's a family. Got it. Okay. I mean, great answer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm listening. So Go then ahead. we got one more. All right, let's hear from you. Me. Okay. Period. You know, uh, on the head. Everything starts with the head and the leader. And, you know, my household follows that. I follow God. My household follows me. Okay. All right. Let's head on back. It is time to pop a balloon. So out of these three remaining guys, whose balloon are you going to pop? <laughs> okay, let's stay over here. So, why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, it just seemed that, I mean, great answer. I, I just think it was very um, centered, self-centered, like me, just me. When a family consists of more than just you. You said the head, the hierarchy. Right, which is God. Okay, we ain't gotta talk about that. that's all. That's that's universal. That's that's uh that's understood. You know, what's understood ain't gotta be explained. But you know, what I'm saying Sir. that's cool when it, mm -hmm. it comes to like it's not even a discussion to be honest with you. Right. Like it's my household <laughs> you're coming into. Like mm -hmm. it's my kingdom. You know, I ain't never seen a king put a queen over him. I wasn't looking for. Um, I don't think there's an issue with your perspective however um That's god crazy. comes first then the husband then the wife then the children so on and so forth That's exactly what i said but i <laughs> no problem okay. oh, you're very beautiful thank you know you. what i'm saying that's why i had the balloon on pop thank you know you. i said everything about you is a1 you want thou wow thank you that's not one thou wow how Chrissy, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Said how she even repeated the question. All she trying to say is put God first. The rest will follow 1111 in the chat. God, you, da da da. Me. I never seen a king put the queen over him. I, she wasn't even talking about herself. <laughs> Bitch, bye. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? Okay. She says she want a man to lead. That ain't even a problem. Yeah, let's head on back. Okay, we did get a pop back here. Why did we end up popping? Um, just didn't feel the aura. There's a connection and vibe. That's it. Energy. She's beautiful. Thank you. You have a um, pretty figure, you. you know, and educated too. So, but I just didn't feel the aura and the okay. connection. Got it. Okay. Now, is Law someone that's your type? Um, I would. Yeah, I would go on. I would go out on a date. Okay. I would. Okay. He's nice looking. I like the colors. Thank you look you. good in the herb tones. Thank you. <laughs> you know? All right. So we do have one more balloon left unpopped. So any final questions between the two of you? Um. Let's see. Do you have any children? I have one. How He's old? two years old. <sighs> Too young. Too young. Any any babies under five? Okay. Yeah, it's a deal breaker for me. I just didn't get a chance to say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, she cool. Um what? Yeah, like uh, I think she's attractive. She had a nice little body on her. Thank um, you. Not too skinny. No, nah, I like slim women, so it's cool. <laughs> um <See? laughs> 
Yeah. Um, yeah. She didn't say anything that made me want to pop, but okay. you know, good. it happens. Right. Now I know the kids was a little too right. young, but is he someone that's your type? Like, would you go for him? It's so he is actually isn't my type, but just based off of his answers, I definitely would have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you You answered exactly how I would have. That's what I was looking for. You got it right. (laughs) All right, so that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately. But thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think and love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.